Don't miss this opportunity. Saul is no longer the king. How long will you mourn? God asked Samuel, how long will you mourn for Saul? God has moved on to David. Saul is no longer the king. Saul is representing the past. David is now. David is the future. God is doing a new thing. David is the king. God is saying to pick up your cross. Pick up your cross and follow him. It's okay if you mourn, but keep moving. Keep moving in the things of God. Even if you're even if you're moving slow, but get up and move. Make some movement. Move forward. Continue to move and don't look back. Don't be like Lot's wife and look back so that you don't turn into a pillar of salt. And when I say a pillar of salt, I mean where you don't get stuck, where you don't get stagnant, where you get stuck in a position, but move forward. God is doing a new thing. God has moved on. It's a lot of times we get stuck, but God is saying that Saul is no longer the king. God has moved on to David and he is doing a new thing. He made David so successful. And a lot of times we keep looking back and we want to live in the era of Saul, but God is moving us into the David area and the David area is prosperous. The David area, God has already destroyed the Goliaths. So you don't have to worry about dealing with Goliaths because God has taken the Goliaths down. So you don't have to worry about the giants. God has, God has prepared the area for you already. He did it like he did when, when when Joshua then went to take down the walls of Jericho, that he already said the kings are already defeated. God put all the kings into Joshua them's hand. He delivered the kings into their hands. So God is saying that now you can move forward. All of the people that you were afraid of, they have been moved. Your enemies have been moved. They are, they have been scattered. So you don't have to focus on that, but you got to stop looking back. You got to stop looking back into the Saul area and you got to move forward into David. God has anointed David's head. God has anointed you to move into the things you have been called. You are chosen by God. So that means that you can do the things of God. God has equipped you on the inside. So that means that the enemy is trying to make you look back. He's trying to make you look back like, like, like Lot's wife did so that you could turn into a pillar of salt so you can get stuck. God said he's unstuck you. You are no longer stuck. You can move on. You was once stuck, but God said that now you're not. So move forward into the things of God and do what God has called you to do. The doors are open for you to possess the land and take over the land. Move forward. Move forward. God bless you. Be blessed.